everyone. My fellow Tarbrail students, my co-followers of good, and especially to my beloved professor, Professor Andrea Arnikovas. You, the solo dirt, as familiar of God's harmony in the universe. Have you ever been called slot before? Other may have started your name, or even used your previous term to address you. But still no longer heard a person calling on a result. But did you know that in the Bible, Jesus called you and me the soul of the earth? As a Roman Catholic with a Christian heart, I have myself full of confidence to encourage you, my fellow Tamarill students, as well as a follower of God, to create a harmony in the universe and transform yourself into a new you. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verses 34 can say that you are the soul of the earth and light of the earth. This may sound strange to you, but come to think of it. Jesus must have valid reason for calling us souls. Let me tell you guys, as you know, soul of the Latin purpose. To be the like soul means that we are also created for special purposes. With the help of my mentors in my high school years, as they recommended. Dr. Kenneth S. Hempel, the former president of the largest evangelical seminary in the world, who inherited from his father a deep love from the church. Once he said, the sizzle it has a flavor, we are also called the right flavor to the situation, to a consistent, and to the communities in which God is grateful of us, and to enhance the flavor of life from those who surround us. We are also called to give meaning to people's lives and spur them to be a volume to others too. My fellow Tamarau students, when you think that sir, that salt asserts something from TK. We are challenged to act like with evidence in the midst of the rallying world. Now that we live in troubled times, we must lead others to Jesus' way to prevent moral decadence and to continue to fall to the allurements of the world. In addition, salt was also used to melt hardened snow. Contemporarily, we are called to serve as salt, to soften the hearts of our fellow followers of God so that they can be more compassionate, loving, and caring, especially to the poor and underserved. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg you to move for a better quality of life. As you grow and move on more and more, you are encouraged to strengthen yourself to become a leader within yourself in your home, in your community, and to our society. You are intended to have a positive outlook towards life. And no doubt, the greatest thing to see impossible, say impossible. Why am I telling you this? Now, doesn't being called the soul of the earth make you realize that you are God in the world? And that without you, the world will not be a better place? Does it make you want to pray more and ask God to place you what He needs you to be? With humility, kindness, and sincerity, I beg you to strongly agree with me to slowly change our attitude, behavior, and our character. My fellow first year mass communication students, you are now a bonafide Tamara student, and three more years will soon to become a competitive alumna of our beloved alma mater. As future professionals, I encourage you to first move yourself up to our society, and soon the substantial progress I'll take could be the best generation we could have. I, Karen Columbaret Santos, MC112, your speaker, proud to say that you are the soul of the earth as a mother of God's harmony in the universe. Thank you.